Leo, it's your turn. Michelle from Born Without Boundaries, for those of you who are just discovering me, this is my weekly oracle and tarot card reading for the zodiac sign of Leo from October 15th through the 22nd of 2019 or whenever you happen upon this video. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's that little red rectangle below. Just click it, thumbs up, subscribe. Please like and share this video if at the end you really do like it. And uh, also ring that bell so you know when I go live, which is usually five days a week, Monday through Friday between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> How subtle am I? Uh, not so subtle. I'm gonna say it must be my triple Leo placements. I'm a confident girl. So Leo, this is your Oracle card reading over here on YouTube. Um, and then the, there's a link below to Vimeo if you want to go across for the full tarot card reading and romance reading. Um, this is all for the week ahead. Leo, let's see what the cards have in store for you. Energies for Leo from October 15th to the 22nd of 2019. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Yummy. Yummy. Have you been howling at the moon? Have you been expressing yourself in the dark? Sometimes I think that, I think that, Leo, there's things that you don't like to talk about or share with people. There are things that you don't even like to talk about and share with yourself. But there has been an illumination as if the sun shined in the darker areas. As if you realize that the moon is the sunlight. It's the sunlight that reaches through the darkness. Thank you for that moon because that moon enables you to shine even when you can't kiss that part of the earth. The moon is there shining for you, taking your light and, and reflecting it onto the earth. So this is you shining in the dark. Leo, you have this week kind of tapped into um, not a seedier side, but a hidden side. Uh, a side of yourself that you don't like to share with people. A side of yourself that you, um, like I said, you don't even usually connect with it yourself. But here you are connecting with it and understanding on such a deep level everything about who you are. And loving yourself all the more for being even more complete because you have accepted and decided to love these parts of yourself. There has been some issues, some conflicts of faith in who you are, which is not diff is not easy for you. It's probably the most difficult thing you ever have to endure. And this week is your week of loving what you see in the dark, of accepting all that you are, even when you don't have your makeup on <laughs> or um, aren't as fabulous as you'd like to present yourself to be. This is you loving yourself raw. And this is you actually connecting with uh, your pack. I'll introduce you to my newest pack member at the end of this video, I promise. Um, I got a new puppy. She's beautiful. And I think she's a blessing. And there's nobody that loves you deeper and fuller than a dog. And Wolf is the original dog, right? It, it was the original canine that man connected with. And quasi-domesticated really kind of formed a symbiotic relationship with. So this is man's oldest friend, but this is the friend that has not been domesticated. So you are making peace with that raw side of yourself that will never be domesticated, that will never be approved of, that will never be okay, but it is beautiful nonetheless. There's such a spectacular beauty to the wolf. I can't, it's almost making me shake. And in, 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 in a way, I think that you, Leo, has, at least some of you, have spotted somebody. I feel like this came up in another reading too. It's like you spotted somebody that you normally would not have looked at. And holy crap, if this is them, boy, oh boy, oh boy, are they a beauty. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to see what my puppy's doing because she's usually getting up to some kind of chaos. I don't know what she's doing. 
Hey, cutie. Um, God, are they a beauty. And you're almost hypnotized by them, fascinated with them. They're really not so different than you, though. See, they have a quiet confidence where your, your confidence isn't quiet at all. They have a confidence that would be confident in the dark. It's almost like they have that kind of confidence that comes out when the lights go off. So this is that kind of personality that they're quiet up front. They don't say a lot. They have a very passive, um, almost shy persona, but beneath that surface, there's a ferocity in them that can and will get through everything and they will be there for you through thick and thin. And this is a tremendous surprise to you, Leo. I'm just feeling this person coming through. What a spectacular, glorious creature it is. Maybe this is the other part of you, but this is the energy that's crowning this reading, this wild, raw integrity. Essentially, this is integrity. So it's about you maybe having found your integrity again, reestablished your sense of, of the balance between pride and humility, and that's integrity, right? Let's, but I want to pick more cards. Of course, this is just one card. Let's, let's pick more cards. Wolf energy is one of my favorite energies. I also get a lot of scorpionic energy coming out. Look for the bigger picture. See the big picture. Co-create with spirit. Time for a beginner mind. Trust in divine detours. Time to heal and make your dreams real. So these two cards are the two most spiritual cards in the deck. Very spiritual, except for the white stag. So spiritual because they are the manifestors of, this is the manifestor of me medicine and healing by letting go of the past, by recognizing what has harmed you, what has hurt you, by seeing things for what they really are, by seeing the danger, by calling it out and by putting it out because you've recognized it. And this is the master manipulator, but really the spell caster. Spider energy, yes, there can be somebody weaving a web. I think, I think you're weaving a web to catch whoever it was trying to hurt you. I think you have set a trap, Leo. It seems that you've set a trap for whoever it was, and both of these are change. Yeah, there's a lot of change coming into your life. A change of perspective. I think that unlike the sun, you are looking at things from from underneath now it's almost like you're looking at the dark side of things i feel like almost like apollo has gone into the underworld and isn't that appropriate for this season uh, persephone certainly has gone into the underworld but i feel like there's a part of you leo that has gone into the underworld and is now seeing things in the dark seeing things from a perspective that you never realized existed or that is very unique to you and you don't see it often and, and this is all to create a sense of um, newness out of things that had been either cast, yeah, cast away, things that had been cast away. Um, a rediscovery of the deeper, darker sides of yourself. Maybe admitting, admitting, hi, cutie pie, weaknesses that you don't normally confront. That's interesting. Not being afraid this time around. The detour is into the underworld. Yeah, you're literally, um, literally taking your sun and shining it into the dark. You could be doing this for a higher purpose, for a philanthropic purpose. But I think for most of you, it is a journey from light to dark. It is a fall into the autumn and then eventually the winter where you, you at least on the, um, in the northern hemisphere, hold on. Leo, if you have if you have been going through sort of a time of constraint, a time when you felt like you were restricted or held back or caught up in old behavioral patterns or caught up 
like caught up in people's expectations of what you are as opposed to what you've become that period is coming to an end you have just basically rewritten the script and decided to sort of transcend your own nature and become something bigger than yourself and at first, this required you to be humiliated and see that there is something bigger than yourself, that there's something better and, and, oh, it's the pack. You have been inspired to help others. And through helping others, help yourself. This is about leading a larger team or developing a larger team. This could be about growing a team or growing a business, um, hiring employees who you feel very responsible to, almost like you are a parent to them. Or this could be no, that's what it is. This is a cast of characters. This is your cast of characters this week. And they're all forcing you into, it's like you're listening to a bunch of different voices. I don't really know how else to explain it, Leo. You're listening to a bunch of different voices that, there's a bunch of different voices almost speaking through you or because of you, like almost like a broadcast somehow. You can be learning about the world by becoming other people, perhaps like an actor learns about, learns about people by becoming them and playing different roles. In broadening your perspective, Leo, this is a very contemplative reading. Different energy for you entirely. It's more cranial. It's less ego and more, not id, but like um, spirit. It's more conceptual. By opening yourself up to this larger tribe these larger hold on this this larger group of people these are these are this is like a motley crew that's all i can explain it as it's a motley crew it's not a traditional tribe but it's literally taking all of these voices and putting them under one umbrella and you're doing it to attract voices like them it's like you recognize that you're not everything and so you've put your trust or you put your shine into a variety of different character types so that people will listen to them it's like you're pulling in all these different walks of life and you're managing the process hmm See, there's a card off to the side that I keep looking at. And I feel like the, I feel like this is almost a vacation for you, Leo. Because in handing over different pieces of responsibility to all these different types of people that have different masteries and expertise, it's almost like you're regaining your freedom. This was about letting go of control, letting go of power, letting go of the need to always feel like you are the one that's right or doing everything. This is about you delegating based on how impressed you are 
with different mindsets. You have the giraffe that sees the wide mindset, the crow that delivers spirit and message, the porcupine that tells you to protect yourself and be guarded, the um, coyote that says, hey, think on your feet. They have that spontaneous live in the moment feeling snake, which is this is a healing energy, the time to heal because it's almost like snake is revealing re, snake sort of reveals where the poison is so that you can finally heal it and then spider is the spell caster the one who actually weaves the spell itself and by delegating all these different pieces of work she's so cute um you're almost setting yourself free to move in an entirely different direction. I almost feel in some ways you're wrapping up. You're wrapping something up. Whether it's a job, but I don't think it's just a job. I think it's a career. I think you're maybe maybe thinking of selling this business or or bringing in a partner that'll take that'll take control or take over the lead for you. This is you making a decision, it's funny because it's almost like everybody else has shown up in your reading, but you haven't. Which tells me that you're on a hiatus from shining. Not because anything has dimmed that shine, but because you have decided to travel beneath the surface. You're doing this because you want to understand. Maybe you're actually going down under and traveling to a place that's on a different hemisphere. Maybe you are going into third world countries to learn about them. Maybe you are delving into psychiatric wards to try to see and study and understand the perspective of people with fractured or frag yeah, fractured minds. But there is this sense in, of you this week that you're just curious about what you don't understand and what you don't know. And you're releasing your tethers and ties to your everyday life. Mm. It's almost like you're becoming a monk this week. Going someplace that you can just, it's like, it's like this would be the week where you go on an actual retreat, like a spiritual retreat, Leo. To literally let yourself go, like let it, let it all go. Cast it away to spirit. Let me turn the camera around. So this is that spirit, that spirit, that energy that's that's crowning it. But this is not your energy. This is somebody else's energy. This is you. I feel like this, to me, this is the handing over of the season from the sun to the moon where the nights get longer. And you have responded to that natural process by behaving the same way. There's been there's a slowing down to you this week. There's a focus on other people this week. There's a focus on making sure that everybody has what they need, that you're listening and learning, that you're trusting in every single one of their talents. You're coordinating everything, but you're not getting in everybody anybody's way. Even this person is not you. This is somebody that you handed something over to. It's like you handed over the torch and you trust their lead because they have integrity. You found somebody that you have a lot of faith in. And beneath here, this is you. You are finally able to let yourself go, let go and feel free. I feel like this is feeling free from the commotion that's in your head all the time this week of, yes, wanting to be at the center of attention, but all the responsibility that goes with that. That is not the case now. You are literally di diving underneath to get out of attention. It's like you're dodging the limelight. You don't want it this week. What you want 
is connection to spirit. You would be going on a retreat or getting away, going on a vacation. You are literally taking a vacation. You're starting this descent into the underworld. You're letting things be dark, darker than usual, like the seasons are. This is the big change. This is the yearly change that we've shifted, right? And I feel like almost the weight of the world has shifted off of your shoulders. You don't feel that responsibility anymore. You're letting the moon take it. In other words, this has really gone from your ego to your emotions. And an intuitive place. This is very scorpionic energy too. Maybe this person that you trust so much is a Scorpio. But your cast of characters, your characters are cast. You have your cast in place. You know, it's like you're ready to just perform and give this show. I want to see exactly what's happening. Like, I want the details. Because this is a very um, sort of ambiguous reading mysterious in some strange way though I think that's the way that you want it because life is going very well for you life is speeding up and freedom is yours in other words you have released a lot of burdens off of your back this week you have literally delegated those responsibilities to other people and you're walking away I feel like some of you sold your business could have sold your business you could have sold your house you have allowed the power to shift to somebody else and you don't mind it you're very happy because other things are starting to happen in your life like connection to spirit like like getting back together or getting closer to your family there is this Sen like menta sen sensibility this week in you, Leo, of hankering down for the long winter and being good with that. I'm going to go over to Vimeo and do a full tarot card spread to get more details because this reading has been, been very ambiguous, but it, it wanted to be that way. I'm going to milk some details out of it. And also do the romance reading. Because I want to know who this character is. If this is a Scorpio, who this is. And what all of this is about. Okay, Leo, I'll see you over there.